So in case you haven't seen this clip that I posted on my shorts, I'm just going to put it right here so we can be on the same page for this conversation, discussion, this. Just, just watch the clip. Y'all, we really got to talk about this because it just hurt my heart. I just, I mean, I feel like I delivered it or like I shared it in a very mild way, if you will, because the honestly, the audio that was on that video was like, I don't care. Um, I'm going to do what I want to do. This is like what we do, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, but why I, it, it's not even I, I can't even i don't even want to start at why because i honestly want to get to like when did you decide like you know what you got frizz on your lock so i'm gonna take my clippers like cut the hair off your head clippers to the surface of your locks like when did you decide that and it really just has me back in a state like y'all do y'all remember when people were really big on putting relaxer on their edges with their locks because they wanted their locks to have like baby hair and it'd be like lay down in the front all the time y'all remember that if this becomes a trend like relaxers like it really just for me or the way i view it it has amplify the negative perception that people have about themselves because locks have frizz like frizz is just a part of it it just comes with the territory to have locks and you're gonna have frizz it just <laughs> i'm trying to find the words y'all i'm trying to find the words like i'm not not even the words i'm trying to find the the, the point the like the point where I can root you in this conversation because for me it just feels like a self-hate thing like there's frizz here so instead of me like working with it embracing it or like cultivating it over time to just like allow it to grow I'm just going to cut it off and it's just like why do we gotta go there? Like, why can't we just, why can't our hair be enough? You know, like, why can't it be enough as it is? And I feel like, you know, people, somebody might wanna say, well, you got green hair, why wasn't your hair enough? And it's just like, I mean, we're talking about apples and nuts here because the nuts and bolts of this is that some clippers were taken to someone's locks in the name of making them look more neat and making them look more smooth i tell y'all all the time it's not about the outside of your locks like you're out the outside of your locks can look really clean and really natural and then you bust them open under a microscope where you cut the tip of your lock off and you see there's a whole solidified core of just junk and buildup because people believe like okay i'm gonna put all this junk grease um creamy stuff on the locks and then i'm gonna put them under the dryer and so after it dries my arms are getting tired after it dries it is not there so it's fine like it just went away no it went in the center of your locks and I have the evidence to prove it. Like, I've been doing this for almost a decade. I've seen this, I've seen the things, I've seen the things. And it's one of the biggest issues I have with locticians. It's like, you don't know what you don't know. So people, be, people just be throwing stuff at the wall. And because we're in an age where everything is like, very visual, it's very surface. It's very just, ooh, what does it look like on the outside? Never mind what's underneath. Someone can 
take clippers to the outside of the locks to remove the frizz, post a video of the finish style looking smooth and neat, and people are like, oh my gosh, yes, I want to book there. Because again, it's just all surface. It's not, it's not health. It's not core. And so you just be so consumed with how it looks on the outside. And then, yo, your locks are going to be falling apart. Just like, oh my gosh, you just don't see it. Oh my gosh. I, I tell my students all the time, you become a fortune teller, like a psychic of locks because you're, able to see the locks in the future. It's not about the now. Hair locking is not about the now, it's about the future. So what you do today is gonna to impact your future. But people just be living for today and I'm just like, it's not enough. Well, really it's too much because that was just too much. I just, I, I just, I'm having a hard time believing it. Honestly, I really am because I'm, I'm just floored. But what do you think? When you saw the clip, what was your initial reaction? Let me know in the comments. And we got to tell a friend to tell a friend to never let that happen. Like if, if you see someone turn on clippers, for the length of your locks, get it out of the chair. Run, okay? Do not sit there and let it happen. Please don't sit there and let it happen. All right? Just, we're not doing this. We are not doing, we're not going into 2023 with this. Like, we're leaving it here. And because we're leaving it here, we got to discuss, we got to unpack it so it cannot come with us. We do not need this baggage, okay?